Hello, hello, hello. Is your mama free? And NYC. And I'm back with another video. If this is your first time on my channel, it's awesome to have you. My name is Teneza. I am the mother of three awesome. You guys, I spent the entire day with all three of the kids and they're just awesome kids. And we live in the heart of New York City. I would love to adopt you into my YouTube family, my tribe. And all you have to do is smash that button down below. The one that says S-U-B-S-E-R-I-B-E. S-U-B-S-E-R-I-B-E. Subscribe, subscribe. To all my A1 Day ones, thanks for your support. This video is a review Married at First Sight UK edition, season seven, episode 24. 24 episodes. Woof. Six months. It has it just felt like it. Alright, tribe. Starts out with the couples. The fifth and final commitment ceremony. I have my notes, the very first line. I'll show you right here. Keisha, do you care? Keisha does not care. Keisha does not care. Keisha has on no makeup. It's a, it's, she's over it. Build a bridge. Keisha's over it. Kwame heard that Keisha called herself single at Girls Night, and she did. She sure said, I am single now. She never told Kwame that, <laughs> but she told her girlfriends. All the couples enter the space together, the couches, Matt and Whitney. I put the other couple's reception of them was frosty. She thinks that, Whitney says that things are just really nice. Matt says, I feel like the inside of a baby unicorn. I've 100% fallen in love with this woman. If I were to give an award out for the best face, it goes to Shanita. <laughs> When they said that, Shanita was like, her face was everything. Her expression was everything. Zoe says, it's not a personal attack, but there should not be part of the experiment. This should have been explored on the outside, not during the experiment. Not Thomas with his arms crossed. Thomas was over it. Thomas has arms crossed. The experts pick Whitney and Matt to tell their decisions first. Whitney, stay. Matt, stay. George and April are up next. Homestays were great. It was funny, April's response to moving out to the country where George and his family live. Her answer was, and she was ready. She had this all practiced. She said, I want to want to do that. Move to George outside of London. This will have been and will be her only long distance relationship. How's that gonna work? Make that make sense. It's not a long distance, it's a long distance marriage. So you're telling me that you are gonna live hours away from your husband for how long? I'm really confused. <laughs> I, I, I'm confused. And when they vote, April votes to stay and George votes to stay. George says that April has made him a better man. What does Thomas do? <laughs> he pretends that he is vomiting. Thomas is over it. Thomas thinks that the relationship is fake. Fugazi. Adrian and Thomas. There is no intimacy. Thomas starts with, I love you with every fiber of my being. I want you to be in my life forever. I don't want to lose contact. At that point, I was like, oh, he's trying to leave. Thomas says, too legit to quit. He's concerned that if we have no intimacy now, when will there ever be? Thomas votes to leave the relationship Adrian wants to stay because Adrian wants to stay the responsibility is now put back on Thomas 
Thomas then says he, Adrian, has given him a reason not to give up when he expressed how much he felt, how deeply he felt about Thomas. And so now Thomas has decided to stay. They will work on the marriage until their vow renewal. Sophie and Jonathan, they had a good week. It was normal and felt natural. They asked, did your dad approve? During the homestays, they went to see Sophie's family. Sophie was honest. She says, I want a family and dad wants me to be supported. Wink, wink, and we know it meant financial. Yet, Sophie votes to stay. Jonathan votes to stay. Jenna and Zoe. They are considering compromising by moving halfway in between Stafford and Blackpool where they live. According to them, a deal breaker may be kids because Zoe's family was very opinionated and vocal about them wanting Zoe to have kids. But they are getting on well. And so for this week, Jenna votes to stay. Zoe votes to stay. And this was a really good point made by one of the experts. He said, you don't commit to circumstances, you commit to each other. And I thought that was really profound. Shanita and Jordan. Shanita really enjoyed getting to know Jordan's mom. He, she is concerned about Jordan's conversation they had at that last dinner party. Shanita is concerned that out of the experiment, if things get tough, Jordan would run. Jordan struggles with feeling good enough. Do they have a strong foundation? And do they want to overcome these problems? Yes, Shanita votes to stay. Jordan votes to stay. Keisha and Kwame. Keisha and Kwame, she met the same friends at the wedding. Keisha says she's, and she's right. She opened herself up. Kwame did not. Keisha said that she shared about how she was sharing with Kwame about being a young mom, really opening her life and her history up to him. Kwame kept joking and interrupting her. According to Kwame, the homestay visiting Keisha's best friend and sisters was, quote, a grilling. He said that he was honest and answered all their questions. And he feels that, that he walked away with a good impression. They had a good impression of him. According to Keisha, when she asked each of them if Kwame was the man for her, she got three no's. No, Kwame was not the man for her. It's the first time Kwame is hearing this and he's shocked. He's shocked and he's embarrassed. I said, obviously surprised. Behind closed doors, there really is no communication. According to the experts, Kwame is the king of managing his emotions. And when he said that, Kwame thought that was a compliment. Kwame thought that was a compliment, being king of his emotions, and he says, thank you. But no, that was not a compliment, and that actually is a horrible way of growing love. Keisha votes to leave. Kwame votes to stay, but changes it to leave. According to Keisha, for me, there is no relationship and there won't be. She is not on the road to love with Kwame. And that was sad to see, you guys, because at the very beginning of this season, when they first got married, I mean, she was infatuated. She, Keisha loved her some Kwame and made it known. The wedding, ceremony, reception, honeymoon, and she really put her best foot forward. But I think the homestays were like, where she met none of his family, I would bet the money in my account on the fact that Kwame never told his family, his parents, his daughters, his siblings. No one knows that Kwame got married at first sight. Bet your bottom dollar. He told no one. That what 
And because of that, there was no one for her to meet because he hadn't told. Literally his bros, his friends he calls his brothers were at the wedding, at the reception, at the homestay dinner, not at his home. What make that make sense? How we have a homestay and we're not we don't go to your home? Where they do that at? Everyone else went to their home. It's called a homestay. You went to a park. And I think Kate was like, huh? She's like halfway out the door with that. But I think when she took him to her home, because her homestay was second and was opening up and he was making a joke out of it, she was like, you know what? We're not doing this. Because she was really vulnerable and really opened up to him and he thought it was all a joke. And it wasn't. It isn't. And after that, she didn't care. She's single. She wore no makeup for filming. <laughs> it was a wrap put a bow on it wrap it up and and she I think she put her best foot forward and I think Kwame was shocked and embarrassed but again he wasn't 100% in my opinion truthful with himself with Keisha with his family with anybody and so that's disappointing all right tribe that ends my recap of Married at First Sight UK season seven episode 24 please 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 make sure that you tune in for my next recap slash review and i'll see you in our next video bye for now tribe